Hi friends, I am Dr. Manvi and I am working as a senior consultant in Indra IVF Noida Center. Today we are going to talk about a very important topic related to male infertility that is DNA fragmentation index. As we know that for evaluating male infertility we generally tell the patient to get a semen analysis done. So what does semen analysis tells us? It tells us about the motility, morphology and the count of sperms. According to the WHO criteria, the motility should be more than 40%, morphology should be more than 4% and the count should be above 15 million. So basically we need to know that is semen analysis enough to know about the potential of male infertility? The answer is no. Because semen analysis, as I told you, only tells us about the count, motility, and morphology. But the nucleus structure of the sperm contains the DNA, which is very important. If the DNA integrity is maintained, it gives us a healthy sperm. And healthy sperms lead to good fertilization, pregnancy, and a healthy childbirth. So basically, we need to know what is DNA fragmentation index. Even couples in which there is recurrent pregnancy losses should go for DNA fragmentation index test. So what is the impact of DNA fragmentation on sperms? In our uh, clinical practice day to day, we have seen that there are many couples who have had miscarriages or they had more, three or more miscarriages. In that case, we need to get a DNA fragmentation index test done. If the nuclear structure which contains the DNA is damaged, then we will have a defective sperm and the pregnancy can lead to miscarriages. So what can be done to prevent this? On patient side, definitely healthy food, healthy diet should be taken. Antioxidant rich foods and vegetables should be taken. As a doctor, we prescribe antioxidant medicine for the patient to take. And how do we interpret this DFI results? In cases where it is less than 15%, we consider it as normal. Between 15 to 25%, it is considered as equivocal and we need to repeat the test. In cases where it is more than 25%, we consider it to be sperms to be fragmented and in that case, we need to give medication to the patient. So, what is the prerequisite to give DNA fragmentation test? As we give semen analysis, there should be a abstinence of not less than two period, uh, two days and not more than seven days. It is The semen sample is given and then it is tested for fragmentation. In IVF, there is also one uh, technique which is known as microfluidic test. In this, the sperm is sorted out. Those sperms with low motility are sorted out and those with good motility are kept. It is considered that the sperms with good motility will have, will not have or will have less fragmentation which can lead to healthy baby. So if your doctor prescribes you for a DNA fragmentation index test, please take this advice seriously and get the test done. Uh, in some patients, uh, when uh, DNA fragmentation index is more than 50%, we do consider doing a testicular biopsy where the stress level is less and we can get sperms with good DNA or nuclear material. So, if your doctor tells you to get a DNA fragmentation index test, please get it and find out your results because it is a very important test, especially in those patients in which there are multiple failures, multiple IVF failures and multiple IY failures. I hope you found this video useful and do follow us or let us know about your queries and do call us on the number given below. Thank you.